गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन टूडे वी विल टेक क्विक रिविजन ऑफ द पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोएम इन दिस पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन द रोड सिम्बोलाइज इन अवर लाइफ द पोएट सेज डेट द पार्ट डेट वी डोंट चूज इन अवर लाइफ इज द रोड नॉट टेकन He describes his feelings about what choice that he had left in the past. The path which we have chosen decides our future, our destination. The important message that the poet wants to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future and if we make a wrong choice, we regret it but cannot go back on it. so we must be wise while making choices now see first question is where does the traveler find himself what problem does he face the traveler finds himself at a point where two roads diverge his problem is to decide on which road he should walk now see next question discuss what these phrases mean to you a yellow wood it was grassy a yellow wood a forest in the autumn season it was grassy and wanted wear the road was grassy because it was a less traveled road it wanted people to move on it the passing there it implies walking on the road leaves no step had trodden black it means the leaves had not been crushed under the feet of travelers travelers the passing here how way leads on to way how one leads to another next is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes them in stanza 2 or 3 in the last two lines of the poem there is no difference between the two roads in stanza 2 and 3 In the last two lines of the poem the poet tells that the road he opted for is less traveled next question question number 4 what do you think the last two lines of the poem mean looking back does the poet regret his choice or accept it the last two lines have the quietness of the poem quite quaint essence of the poem the poet expresses his opinion that it becomes difficult for a normal human being to change his or her decision the poet intends to walk on the first road but he couldn't do so because life does not offer multiple chances to choose the decision taken may mar one's future or lead one to success it makes all the difference he now repent for not getting a chance to travel on the first road question what was the poet's dilemma the poet was standing before the two roads he had to decide which one would lead him to success it was not easy for him to decide so he stood once there and introspected but out the two opinion he had to choose the one of course it was not an easy choice next question is what was the poet's opinion about both the roads the poet opined that both the roads were same they were equally traveled and there was no difference between them so he got confused it was difficult to decide which road would be more convenient and comfortable he wanted to choose the one that would take him to his intended destination next question is what do the roads represent the roads represent the problem of decision making human beings suffer because of their choices and decisions they find themselves in such situation at every step in their lives out of the available options they have to choose the one they may take them to their destination the choice decide the outcomes in life next question 
did the poet take his decision absurdly no he speculated and brooded over the situation he took his decision after a lot of contemplation he did not take this decision absurdly no doubt he was bit confused after all it was not quite easy to make the right choice but he exercised his option after much contemplation thank you students